Hello everyone, this is Rabbi Yosef Chaim Mimra, and I just thought maybe I'd give a, a quick class on Hanukkah. So I, this is very improv. improv. So, um, you know, a lot of people are asking me, what is the reason of Kabbalah that we light the menorah? You know, we know all the Pshatim, we know all the Midrashim, we know all the Gemaras, but what is the reason according to the Ariza, the Zohar? Is there something deeper that we don't, we haven't heard already? So, of course, there is, is something fabulous, absolutely fabulous. But in order to appreciate this, we have to really understand a few different questions that, you know, that we know the halachas, but we have to understand how this works, how this works exactly. So, for example, for example, there's a halacha that says we have to light the menorah, light the menorah, as we know, below 10 tfachim and above 3 tfachim, right? Everybody knows that. Now, what's the reason for that? So, so the you know, Api Allah the Mishabu explains that it's Mishum Pirsa the Pirsa the Nisa. Another another reason is that you know Iso Lanot Min Haor. You can't be Nene from the All. So therefore, slow is of a hacker. You have to sort of notice that something's wrong with that light. So I'm, I can't use it because it's too low. Obviously, that means I'm not allowed to use it. Um, but those reasons are hard to understand. Because anyways, we're lighting inside. So pierce up the nisa uh, to fasten the nest to 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 add to the miracle uh, uh, is a little bit difficult as a reason. And second of all, to 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 say that the reason why we're putting it so low is because of hekka is also lives a little bit more of a reason. So we'll see Api Kabbalah, we have a very phenomenal reason why we do this. But let's continue with these questions. We find the Rambam, for example. The Rambam says, when you're lighting the candles, you have to be very, very careful. Yizayim Ma'od. Now, the Rambam, we know, um, the Rambam uses his words very, very carefully. So why is he saying Yizayim Ma'od? What's to be? Uh, we're dealing with a, a mitzvah the Rabbanan here. At the end of the day, we're dealing with a with a, a, a mitzvah which was invented by the rabbis. Um, you know, if he had said this by Yom Kippur, or if you said this, you know, by a mitzvah Doraita, we can understand why you have to be very careful. But a mitzvah the Rabbanan, and he says a filu ani mochek suso. Wow, you have to sell your clothes to lights again. That's I have to find out what's so what's so crucial about this mitzvah. I have to find out about that. Now, next question we want to ask as well is about um, the there's a halacha in the Shulchan that says nogim nashim shelo lasot malach b'shas adaka that women have the minig not to do malacha for half an hour for half an hour. It's a, the post can talk about a half an hour or calls me shed yodluk. Uh, calls month that it's doluk, the light are lit. You, the women of a minute not to do malachas. Why? Why? So the Mata Moshe brings, Moshe, Misha Bro brings up the Mata Moshe that says, because they were, ayu be'oisenes, because they were in the miracle. So men were also in the miracle. I mean, uh, we fought the war, didn't we? And uh, we lit the candles. The Kohanim lit the candles. They were all men in the Beit HaMikdash. So we should also not be doing work. So well, why is there a special halacha that women shouldn't do work? You know, that, that's, that's, uh, that's a bit strange. Okay, so we have to understand, we have all these questions, and we have more questions. We have more questions. For example, um, Erev Shabbos. Erev Shabbos. Now, we're going to see next Shabbos, we're going to have a, a, a problem. What's the problem? The problem is we have the light Shabbos candles, because it's Shab- Shabbos coming, and also we're going to have to light the lights of Hanukkah. So which one do you light first? Which one do you light first? Hanukkah candles or Shabbos candles? So the Mechabah says clearly you light the Hanukkah candles. Why? Very simply. Because if you light the Shabbos candles, it's going to be Shabbos. And you won't be able to light the Hanukkah candles. Rov and Mepharshim are cholik on the Mechabah. They said, what? One second. Men don't mekabal Shabbos bad lucker. If they're not mekabal Shabbos bad lucker, so we can light Shabbos candles first. And then light the light the Hanukkah later on. So what what's pshat? What's pshat that we have to light the Hanukkah first? There must be a different, a different, deeper reason. Because if it's out because you mekabel Shabbos, we we light Shabbos candle. We're not mekabel Shabbos. Okay, another another answer. another question. What's pshat tichle regel minashuk? The Magen of Ram says. 
something very interesting. The Mangan Abraham, I'll tell you where I found it, uh, in Tav Reish Ein Beis, Sifkot A. He says as follows. Interesting, Allah. When you have, and every now we have this problem, Lacho, if, you have a mig, if your minig is to daven uh, mariv by night, by, by, by tzete kochavim, a marshal, or by skia, then you have a conflict of interest. Of You have two mitzvahs coming, b'bayim b'bas achas. Two mitzvahs. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to light the candles? Or are you going to daven mariv? Because the, the, the chiv comes at the same time. So the answer is, Tadir, Veni Tadir, Tadir Kodim. So you, da, you, you do whichever mitzvah that you usually do. Usually do. So, says the Magan of Ram, but that's only if Marev is going to take less than a half an hour. Let's say you have a long minion, or by the time you go there, you come all the way back, the, the shul is very far, it's going to be past half an hour, then you light for four. That, over, that overrides the rule of Tadir, Tadir, Veni Tadir Kodim, Tadim Kodem is overridden by the fact that you'll be missing out on the Ike Chatzisha of Adlaka. Why? Actually, that tells us the Gemara, the Medina of the Gemara, that you have to light half an hour. That's all you got. So says the Mount God, we're, we're, we're prepared to override a very important rule of Shas, Tadiv, and Tadi Kodem, because of this Chatzisha. Now the problem with that is that the Ramah already told us that we, we don't we don't really we're not really knowing uh Pirsum and Anisa nowadays. Because since we're lighting inside, says the Ramah, the Ikka Pirsum and Anisim is for Bene Bayis. If it's for the Bene Bayis, then there's no hat there's no Khatisha. Khatisha is only because Ashitikhla Regim Shu, because the people passing by in the streets after half an hour it started getting dark and nobody be on the streets. Which Bechla today is not true. We have we have we have electric light, and even if uh, even according to Ramah that we light inside, we're lighting inside. The, the, we have more than a half an hour because people are up till very late at night. Don't uh, don't ask me how late they're at my house, but uh, very late. Okay, so that's Damakash. So why is the Magen Avraham came after the after the after the Ramah? Pashas he would be going like the Ramah that he's telling us that we're overriding a, a, a din de shas. Um, which is in a place where, where, where we don't need to hold by the half hour. So what's this Pirsum and Nisa? Why is it so Choshev? So there's a lot of questions that we need to ask. You know, so Api Pshat, the Chazal, try to give us reasons, but we know, we know the real reasons are in the Ariza. Now li- listen to what the Ariza says. This is in Pri Chaim. In the Pri Chaim, I mean, there is Shah Kavanas, the Shah Kavanas explains to us, but if you want the real reasons for Hanukkah, you have to go to the Sefer Pri Etzchai. I have a photocopy here, I have another copy there, but this is where my notes are. And and he says something fantastic. I said, listen to this. He says, Da, ki anu madlikim oitza in mishkiyat hachama. We like the shkiyat hachama, ki azi midas alayla. It's a midas alayla. That means it's midas adin. Vehi yoredes limatu. Let's see, he is talking about the, the Shekhinah. The Shekhinah goes down. It's a, a Kabbalistic term called Nukva. Nukva, or Shekhinah, or Malchus, all the same words, all the same entity, goes down, where does it go down? To El Bria, Yitzira, and Asir. Because we know there's three worlds. There is the world of Atzilus, which is the highest world. Lower world is Bria, lower world, Yitzira, lower world is Sia. That's called in Loshan Kabbalah, the Olamas of Klippas, Be'erachim, meaning compared to the higher worlds. Okay, even though Bria is Kisar but anyways, we'll put that aside right now. Bia, Bia, which is an acronym for Bria, Yetzira, and Asiya is where she goes down to from the higher worlds. Okay, that is where uh, the so called Chitsoinim are found. Don't ask me about Chitsoinim, that's, not that's, that's not for today. As anu mamshichim la oisa o ores sheha yula lemala. Okay, I'll explain in a minute. The fish ikam shochi hi me oisa o a nimshach alea mela rosh u a vaya ve eke. I'll explain in later. Ki 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 shehe melim yudim shem gimul a gematre regal. Vein o ze yucho le hamshich. Elea elezman maat. Lachain gam mitzus adlake eno elezman maat. 
וזו השטיח לרגל מן השוק, כי השוק הם עולמות התחתונים. This is the lower world. השטיח לרויס הרישימו מן האור ננשיך עליה למטה עד מקומה. And then he continues by saying, then אלה שאנו ממשיך לאור מלמעלה אל מקומה לבד, דהיינו הדלקה. לכן אוסר להשתמש לאור, כי, כי, כי כדי להיות אור הקודש עליון יור למטה, אשר שם מקומה במקום השם מצוי משם החיצונים, זה חיצונים הפעם דה, אנו חוששו שלא יאחזו באור העליון, לכן אין לנו את מן האור. אוקיי, למי אקספלנט מה זה קורה? So what are we doing exactly by lighting lights? We're taking a flame, which is Nishmas Adam, where our Neshama is considered to be like a light. I mean, it's a Chazal telling us that it's a very spiritual thing. A light is a very spiritual, it is the dogma of a spiritual Neshama, spiritual light. And we're lighting the Menor. What's the Menor? It's a symbol of the Shechinta Begulusa. Shechinta Begulusa. It's a symbol of the Shechinta going down into the lower worlds. And what are we doing? We're accompanying her. Chazal want the menorah to lower down, for us to bend down and, to, and to, to resemble this act of going down into the lower worlds. What, what is it doing down into the lower worlds? The, world, the Shekhinah is going down because of our, because of our, our, our voinus, is going down and having to deal with the klipas, to fight the klipas. In the darkness of the winter nights, where, where it's dark, it's hard, We have a lot of Nisoyinus, and there's a lot of Averas being done, Chalil Vachas. Therefore, the Klippas the, the are getting stronger, and she has to go down and fight with the Klippas. So we give her energy, we give her Koach, we're lighting that light, we're bending down. You especially see the Mekubalim, or the Hasidish masters, that they bend down very low to light the Manoah. That's a symbol of bringing the Shechina, close to the Ner, giving, giving the Ner over to the Shekhinah, giving Koach and energy and Shefa to, the, to, to this Shekhinah Begalusa in order to light up the lower worlds. That's what we're doing. And that's what's created all the Nisim and Niflos. And what are we giving to her? We give her Havaya, Havaya, those who understand the, all the, the Kabbalistic language, Havaya, Havaya Ve'ekya, Havaya Elokim. Havaya and Adnus, which is together um, the Gematria of 250, which is the Gematria of Ner. So everything Kabbalistically, all the Yehudim that we're doing over there is exactly to give her that Ner. And Lehadlik, Lehadlik also is a special Kavana, which we give her 180. 100, the Gematria of 179 plus the Kolel is 180. That's Ab Sagma Uben. That's 72.45, uh, 72.63 and uh, 45, those are very special names, Havaya the Yudim, Havaya the Sag, and Havaya the Alfim. So all that we give it to her, which is also the Gematria of Regel, and we, we're giving her the Regel and Shuk, also because it's called Regel, it's, it's a holiday. All different Ramazim, I don't want to make this year too long, but what I want to say over here is that there's very deep implication. With that, we can understand why the menorah is so low. We can understand why Nashim don't do work, because the whole thing is about giving Shefa to Rachel, which is represented by the Shekhinah. And why is it that Pirsum is so important, the half hour? Because the half an hour, that's when she's going down. After the half hour, she's already there. You can't light. Api Gemara, Api Halacha. Nowadays, things have changed. But I'm talking the Ik Me'ikir Dina de Gemara. Me'ikir Dina de Kabbalah. That is, and we see the Kabbalah very makbid to Dara and Dafka by Shkia, because again, that's accompanying her downwards. So all these halachas that we talked about, Pisum and Nisa, why the Shechin is too low, and why the Rambam saying, Mizai Me'oid, because it's such an important thing to give her Shefa, to give her power, to give the Shechina what she needs in order to fight the Klippas, to fight the Klippas. Okay, even though the Rambam was in the Kabbalist, but the uh, Migdolot says, Besof Yomav, he was Choyzer, and he learned Kabbalah. Could be the, one of the reasons why. But I call upon him. So, we're not going to go into more depth than that, but there are those who want to continue this, learning about this. I will be giving more classes on Shah Kavanos and Hanukkah, and the Priyat Chaim, and also the Kavanos of the Rashash. Okay? So, wishing everybody a Heilige, 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 Chanukah, and everybody should have the Kavanas 
to mishtatif everybody to de- together to give shchi- to, to, to give power and kedusha to the shchinta begalusa as they're lighting the candle to meramis that we are all here together to give koach to the shchina and when the shchina has koach she gives us koach that's the way it works everybody wishing a freilike Hanukkah.